So let's talk about using include in PHP. So what if there's code that you want to reuse? So let's say you create some kind of header, or you create some kind of footer, or basically you create a number of variables and you want to be able to reuse them on different scripts within the application that you're going to be using. Well, one of the things that you can do is you can use include to allow you to include other PHP scripts within the PHP script that you're that, that you're building. So you what you can do is you can create a basically you can create a PHP script where all you do is create and set variables. So here are all the variables. That's all that is. And then when you create a different script that has a functions or has a form or has something else and it needs to be able to call those variables, one of the things that you can do is you can simply include that original script that you created and now it's as if all of those variables have been written in to the PHP script that you're currently dealing with. So this is a simple way. Again, some people, there's an argument about whether you should be using PHP for creating templates and all that kind of stuff nowadays. But this is one of those ways that you can do things such as create templates. So if you create something like a title bar, or if you create a menu or create a footer or th something like that in PHP, and you want that to show up uh, on multiple different pages, you can write that out once, and then you can simply use include to include that script onto whatever pages you want it to be included on. So this is a simple way that you can do code reuse. Uh, whether or not it's the best way all the time, again, especially in a corporate world, that's its own question, but this is something that you can use, especially as you're learning. So let's go over to the computer so I can show you a ba how to use this include. So this is a simple include script that I created. And again, it has a, bit of, a little bit of a troubleshooting routine in here just to make sure things are firing properly. Um, so we've called this include. So this is just called include.php. And with this, as always, you open with a PHP script. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a variable for time and set the value to whatever the current computer time is. All this is for is for troubleshooting purposes only. This isn't actually for the include. Then what we're going to do is we are going to include a PHP file and so of course just be a little bit confusing <laughs> I don't know why I called it this this is probably not a good idea I called it included.php so we're in include.php and what we're going to do is we're going to include to be clear single quotation marks single quotation marks and then what the path to what we're including is uh, so th since this is in the same directory all we have to do is tell it its name so it's going to be called included dot php close single quotation marks and of course end with a semicolon then what we're going to do is we're going to print and we're going to print the value of the variable message and what you'll see here is that i've not created nor have i set a value to a variable called message anywhere else in the script this has been created in this included dot php script then all i'm going to do is i'm going to print a break and then i'm going to print the time and again, this is just going to show me that the script is actually firing how it's supposed to. And so if we go over and we take a look at the included file, what we're going to see is for this included. So any, any PHP script that you're going to be including has to be a PHP script. So this is included.php. We're going to open with a PHP tag, just like we normally would. And all I'm doing here is I'm creating a variable called message and setting it setting it to the value of hello world from an include. Again, close with semicolon and then close the PHP script. So it's important that you have the, the, the PHP open and the PHP closed here. And then if we go back to the include, so we can see that this is, this is how it's going to work. So the print, so the, the value for the message is coming from that included script. If we go to, uh, to, to Chrome to take a look at this, we can go to Silicon Dojo forward slash, and again, include. Make sure you just do include.php. Uh, you may you you may want to change the name of that file. That was probably not a good. <laughs> that's probably not a good thing. Anyways, uh, okay. And so here we go. So it prints out "Hello World" from an include. So that's coming from the included. Um, file uh, and then this is just the time and again the time is there just to show me that the script is actually running um, and so that's really all there is to how you include uh, one 
PHP script into another. Again, you can use this for things like variables, any kind of code reuse. If you're creating forms, if you're creating reports, if you're creating variables, and you just know you're going to use it again and again and again, you might as well create create that information, write that out in one place, and then you can use include in order to pull it in uh, for the different scripts that are going to use it. And so that's that's really all there is uh, to an include script. And again, that's that's really that's that's basically what they look like. So that's all there is uh, to using include in PHP. It's just a very easy way that you can reuse code, especially when you're new, when you're testing things out. You know, you might as well write something once, include it in a number of different pages, uh, and then work things out from there. There's no reason to keep writing things. One of the big problems you run into in the coding world is simply people mistype things. So if you have the same, if you have the same code, and you're going to have to retype it five different times most likely you're going to make a couple of mistakes. Again, the more mistakes you make, the more frustrating it's going to be, the more you're going to scratch your head. Whereas if you can just simply write it once, you make sure that it works that one time, then you can just include it on all the other scripts that you're creating. It makes life a lot easier. So that's all there is to using include in PHP, and that's why it matters.